Hi, this is Raymond from EV Offer. Uh, today we want to announce a very cool product. Uh, so we want the camera to zoom in here. Yeah. So I don't know if you notice something different from this screen. Um, yeah. So I'll give you three seconds to see. So one, two, three. So yeah. So this is something new. You haven't seen this before. Uh, and I can move this to here. I can move this to here. Yeah, just any way I want in the bar but let me show you what it is sorry mm. so this is a CarPlay so without using the browser so in the past you might have some product that uh, allowed you to do the CarPlay on the browser but this one we do it purely on screen decoding so now you can see that we have connected an Apple CarPlay uh, we can use our favorite map apps like Waze so on the big screen so it's a very cool feature that uh, you can just navigate it and the touch is very smooth unlike the browser version so uh, and you can just use the bluetooth uh, to connect it your uh, to connect your phone to the car so you can allow the navigation force uh, to be output from your car so let's try to do a demo live demo uh, so we will just drive out and we'll talk more about the product uh, so if I put the car into reverse, it will automatically uh, place it back to the camera, backup camera. And if I go back to the drive, uh, after a few seconds, it will go back to the car play screen. Okay, so you come back. So uh, let's try to uh, drive and see. So uh, while I'm driving, I will talk more about the product. Um, so the installation is pretty easy. Uh, you just need to disconnect um, the cable from the monitor to the uh, MCU and connect a, a middle device in between and then you will do the decoding uh, itself. But I want to talk more about the, this uh, device uh, although it supports touch uh, but it only supports single touch like this. But it doesn't support multi-touch like this pinch. You cannot do it pinch to zoom. Yeah. Uh, so this is one drawback, but of course you can still do that in here, but you just cannot do it in the overlay uh, screen. So uh, this is the only drawback I, uh, I think about. Yeah. Uh, but this is pretty cool. If someone, uh, if some of you uh, rely heavily on Waze, uh, it is a good feature to have. Yeah, because you can have the CarPlay feature and use the Waze on your big screen. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is uh, some people might have uh, asked uh, is this compatible with your HDMI interface? Yes, it does. So let me try to show you. Uh, if I turn on my HDMI interface, like here, uh, it's still compatible uh, with our device. And then I can switch back and forth. Or I can do it in a small screen in here while I do the navigation. So it's compatible with our HDMI interface. Last but not least, our product have a, a right-hand drive and left-hand drive interface. So this one is a right-hand drive car, so the screen will be here. But for the most of you, uh, the screen will be here. It can be set from the uh, hardware itself by dip switches. So uh, thank you for, uh, for your time, and I hope you like our new product. And it is available to be purchased on our website uh, starting from today. Thank you.